here we are we're finally back for another one punch man manga chapter of course we last left off with empty void freaking using his dimensional blade attack on the hero association with blast going in using his powers to teleport the entire hero association away to dodge this attack and then he teleports us back you know what i'm pretty excited to see what's going on here so let's jump right into it as you can see here it's been updated 41 minutes ago boom as always shout out to the reddit of the one punch man community they always put out these chapters so if you want to go join the one punch man reddit go ahead and join where they will post the the new chapters raw and translated but usually i wait for the translation all right because if i don't wait for the translation then i don't know what the hell is going on but let's get right into this look at this Ooh, flashy flash cover okay okay look at that i like the little reflection of sonic there a little cheeky sonic yo is that his new sword that's a new sword right all right the title of the chapter is called what only i can do pretty weird title let's go let's get right into this what well, wait, hold on. This is a flashback? Is this a flashback we're getting? Hold on. Look at you. You can see Blast in the background. This is cool. Okay. Little flashback. At that time, I was trying to reduce the damage on the ground. I bent Garo's cosmic rays using a gravitational wave and sent them away into another dimension. He literally sent his radiation into another dimension. Hold on. Whoa. What? Wait, hold on. Am I reading this right? Cosmic rays? So Blast witnessed this. He witnessed the zero punch. Cool. That's cool. Okay, yeah, this is when God was like, oh, my power is seeping away. Okay, Blast looking down. Look at that Saitama butt. Yep, get a good look at that Saitama butt. He's shocked. Why is he so shocked? What? Wait, what? What is going on here? <laughs> is that Empty Void? So Empty Void is absorbing freaking Garo's, Cosmic Garo's freaking energy, I guess? Power, maybe? Yo, Blast, you better do something, man. Void. Oh shit. Yo, look at him. Yo, he's so weak. He's like freaking. He's like, oh my. This is crazy. Now nah, they they're they're going into space. Oh shit. What's what's Blast gonna do here? He's launching some kind of attack. Yo, he's gonna dodge this. Empty boy's gonna dodge this. Yo, what? Yo, he looks way different here. Hold on, what? Nah, we're getting right into this, bro. The action's already, like, starting. Like, this is crazy. Is he gonna just slice away this attack? Oh, that's cool. He's just... Dude, this is... That attack was nothing to him. Whatever that was, that was nothing to him. He literally just sliced that with his blades. What? This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool shot right here. This is really cool. Look, even Blast the shot. He doesn't even know what's going on, bro. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. He's using the fucking space gates to like try to catch him off guard. It looks like it's catching him off guard. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? Yo, what? This guy's literally grabbing space like a blanket. What is he doing? Wait, did he deflect the attack? Yeah, it's coming at him. Grabs whatever. Like he grabs space. He grabs his the reality that they're in and just warps it around literally sending the fucking attack from blast away what this is crazy ha 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 menacing as hell look at this man blast is like oh man with the power he took coming out of garo he became that much stronger and revived himself yeah wait this is crazy he literally siphoned garo's power and just took it for himself so is this like the thing that people who are subjected to like god's influence too are they like just allowed to steal other like avatars powers i guess or is this like one of his main powers that were that was like that was buff right this is this is this is a wacky design this looks hella different from his uh retcon design is he capable of moving between dimensions like you yes an opponent that cannot be defeated with speed only since then he's been making preparations hiding while hiding in another dimension i think he is going to go on the offensive now i won't let him get away this time what this is cool wait this is crazy empty voice strong he's strong he's strong but how are you planning to win blast you call it a dimension slash what the hell is this psychic powers 
It is one of God's powers. Interference from the higher dimension where God is located ignores distance, energy, and size. Okay, so this kind of confirms in a way that God is obviously in another dimension. I've said this before. Obviously, God is not. He's been kind of shown in the moon. He's been, I guess you could say, sealed, right? On the moon, but he's obviously working from another plane, from another plane, not this reality. He's working in another reality, and maybe because he's sealed, you know, he can't really use his full power. You know, he can, he can do a little bit of things here and there, but he can't really, like, <clears throat> manifest and just start fucking shit up, okay? But this is cool. I like that. As to what extent it ignores, okay? Ooh, another, ooh, the return of this panel. I like this. The infamous god standing on the moon. That depends on the capabilities of the subject. S sorry. I still haven't completely understood this myself. Same. I see. No wonder they're so desperate to retrieve the cubes. Ah. Oh yeah. I have to make sure those guys are safe. Ah. You are Mr. Sitch. There's an emergency summons. Yeah. Also, a moment ago we received a letter addressed to Flashy Flash. Sure. Letter of challenge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're doing this. They're doing this. They're still doing the letter of challenge thing. It's from Sonic. <laughs> That man has awakened. He's after your head. Ruining, will, running away will do you no good. It's time to settle the score. Come to my hideout. I await you alone. The place where childish dreams are seen. Sonic, a fellow hitman from the village, from my village, a pervert who stalks people for a hobby. Hey, Sonic needs to get off Saitama's dick, man. It looks like Sonic already had an encounter with that man. Assuming he already fell under his control, is there an objective to eliminate me? Or to bring me over to coming from them don't you feel like it's more it's more like i'll kill you before that man does you son of a bitch sorry but what kind of relationship do you have with this person <laughs> yo man yo hey, hey blast is on to them all right blast is on to them you know they're it's just a simple undesirable relationship i think it is highly possible that that man appears if i go to the designated place that would be your chance wouldn't it blast for sure but if we all go together it might alert void you go ahead first if that man appears you can send me a signal using this alarm okay that makes sense i like that i'll fly right in until then let's work with sitch and concentrate all our efforts of informing all branches and cities to be on alert for the dimension slash that's crazy what if like dude this dude empty void can just slash any city and wipe out anyone at any time that's crazy so is this the address of the hideout really the one written on the back of the challenge letter does he even know he's a ninja what will you do cape bald since you're my disciple now i won't stop you if you ask to come with me yeah since the old dude's gone i'm going to make sure it will be okay me and monaco will go eat some curry udon <laughs> all right yep Classic Saitama. Do as you want. <laughs> yo, yo, he can't. Flash Flash can't do anything. You can't. Like, he's your, he's your disciple, but you can't control Saitama. All right, if he's hungry, the dude's gonna go eat. Oh, okay. This might be that same flashback from the retcon version. Like I said, the memories of the time you spent on the outside are keeping your current sense of self supported. I, on the other hand, was born in the Institute and forced to live my life in accordance with the training program from the very start. So you're probably wondering how I managed to keep my mind from becoming another cog in the machine, right? The instructors all call me a failure, but that's not true at all. I was born with a powerful soul, so they aren't able to control me. I have a dream for the future. I'm going to climb to the top of management and overtake the village. I'll tear the shitty system this organization has and raise orphans who had the same circumstances as us in a more free and open environment. Okay, okay, Sonic, I see you. You're trying to change the system, all right? I've, I've heard this one before. I've heard this one before. Assassination techniques are useless for anything but killing people. What I think has true value is the power to live life as you please. We don't have that right now. You'll help me out, right, Flash? I can tell your eyes look a lot like mine. I've even decided on a potential spot for the new village. Are you for real? Yep, there's a map. Topography and shit. Mountains. Flash is landing. So you've come. Place where childish dreams are seen, huh? You remember. 
A few years ago, they opened a road at the top of foot at the I don't know. A few years ago, they opened a road at the top, at the foot of the mountain. A place out in the mountains far from any prying eyes. Seems to have been very convenient for the industrial waste companies. What you see here is their illegal dumping. Yep. It's the perfect setting, don't you think? For the finish line to our dreams. Let me ask you one thing. Is this an order from that man? A stupid question. This has nothing to do with that fossil. I simply remembered when I ran into you the other day that we never settled who is strong. I knew you would never submit no matter who you were competing with. There's no way to compete with that nor any way to run away from it. In this very place that's it. that was symbolic of our free spirits. Free from any interference by killing each other. Want to end it here without leaving any regrets, is that right Sonic? I'll be by your side for your final moment. It's something only I can do. Look at that little, look at this. Look at this eye, he's like, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to put you down, Sonic. Okay, end of chapter. That's it, the volume 30 bonus chapter and extras are out. Okay, yeah. Have you guys read that bonus chapter? I think it's about King, I might read it here. But before I do, my thoughts on this. Predictions. First of all, I like how Empty Void's actually being built up to be like crazy, like crazy strong. Like, he essentially absorbed Garl's powers. I'm not sure to what extent or to, like, how much he absorbed, but I'm assuming he absorbed mostly all of it. I mean, who knows if he can copy abilities of pretty much anybody like Saitama. Who knows if he can en enter a Saitama mode or whatever, right? Um, shit. But he looks powerful. This guy's literally touching space and time, I guess, in a way. Like, he's literally warping reality. That's really cool. I mean, the Dimension Blade attack is insane. I like how we kind of get a reveal of how, like, God is operating outside of uh, this realm of the current One Punch Man versus realm, which also kind of gives the cubes a little bit more importance, right? You know, they need the cubes in order to go to, the, to this dimension where God is. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to go. I like how they did this right here. Because, like, Blast kind of just showed up out of nowhere in the red con version. That boy just pulled up and just said, Boom! punch the shit out of freaking empty void and you know as always or i mean like the retcon version you know these guys are still competing like an ex-married couple or something you know i think right here it might play out exactly like the retcon version maybe not exactly but obviously they're probably gonna have a little skirmish him and sonic flash flash and sonic and then boom heavenly ninja party shows up and then boom they team up together and then boom obviously empty void's gonna make a crazy entrance maybe you who knows maybe he's still gonna have those genjutsu skills or the technique that he had maybe he, i hope hopefully he does the genjutsu shit was pretty cool i like that so i hope uh murata and one keep that in now look i'm not sure if flashy flash and sonic are going to get corrupted this time i don't think they will they might and if they do get corrupted i don't think it'll be with the cube too i think the way they might get corrupted is just somehow having god appear in some way or maybe or maybe this, right? Maybe Empty Void appears, right? Blast comes in. They have a little fight. Maybe Flashy Flash and Sonic help somehow, right? They're pretty useless, though, because of just how strong Empty Void looks now. Maybe Blast will go in and somehow kind of put Empty Void on the edge somehow. Maybe he'll kind of hurt him. Maybe he won't. And then maybe God will come in on his own. And he'll just, like, somehow, like, try to influence Flashy Flash and Sonic when they're on the ground you know probably severely injured or beaten up because of empty void and maybe as empty void and blast are fighting god shows up tries to influence them maybe he does end up influencing them maybe he doesn't but either way saitama's gonna show up and just completely fuck up empty void with one hit one punch doesn't matter i think that's it, it, it hopefully it does because It'd be a lot funnier, he, uh, Empty Void's being a lot more built up now. But those are my final thoughts for this chapter, chapter 197. And hopefully we do get a fight, a really good fight between Blast and freaking Empty Void. But let's go check out this extra bonus chapter here. Okay, here it is, here it is. The Style of a King, Volume 30 Extras. Chapter 151.5. Let's see what we got here. God, this is taking forever to load. 
okay yeah i've seen this before we've seen this before this is really cool i like this i like this image i actually have an upcoming video about martial arts and a bunch of theories and a bunch of we're just going to discuss about the martial arts uh world in one punch man in general i like this okay here we go female entertainment history the style of a king hobbies okay i like this Saitama's. oh look at that king this looks like a vogue magazine king's on a vogue magazine warning yo why is there a warning released today i don't consider myself a hero i just am who i am training i've never done that lol yo, why is he so goth here yo he's opio yo what is wrong with this dude people who want to watch me fight people who want to challenge me and monsters who want to kill me don't try it i advise you <laughs> yo okay so, yo what are these these are some ridiculous fits though he's got that shit on i can't lie i like being alone i don't want to show my private life i know some of my fans will be hurt reality is often cruel it's best not to get too close to me i like this okay i really like this so i don't consider myself a hero i just am who i am training i've never done that he's being 100 percent serious here bro but to like to normal people this comes off to him being extremely strong these this is literally him just telling the truth he literally doesn't want any of this he doesn't want anyone knowing who he really is you know we all know who king really is the most powerful character in one punch man of course i want to tell my kid fans even if you're not strong it's fine even if you're not brave enough it's fine just never lie to yourself that's enough hey man king you're probably one of the biggest liars out there i've become too strong that's not true there's always a bigger fish it's not selfish to hope for that is it yo, yo why is he like post it up in every picture i mean like i'm telling you man this dude king is literally a model look, look at saitama yo yo why are you so bad saitama he's, he's telling the truth and you know what i can see why maybe he's a little bit jealous you know yeah he's on he's on the cover of a magazine he's literally a model he's put he's putting that shit on and in a way, he's kind of like telling the truth, you know? He isn't going out there in the magazine being like, yeah, you know what, the whole time. I was stealing Saitama's clout the whole time, you know? I, ta I, I took full responsibility. You know, I lied about taking, you know, responsibility for all those monsters uh, that I killed, you know? In reality, it was actually Saitama the whole time. I was just stealing his cred. Hey, man. Someone, we need to get Saitama. You know what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You know what? Because in our hearts, you know, Saitama is number one, okay? Okay, so he, he doesn't need a magazine. I like this. This is really cool. This is work of fiction. This has nothing really expressed. Yep. This is really, really fucking cool. He's hitting that uh that one pose from that one philosopher, I think. They like made a whole like statue out of him. Cool, cool. I like this. Look at his rage. Look at that aura. Okay, little Genos art. I like this. I like that. The masters are bonding. Okay, yeah, we're alright, that's it. Um wait, hold on. Thanks to Murata Sensei, we've amazingly reached volume 30, and thanks to everyone who brought who bought this one. I'm grateful. I might actually buy volume 30. As soon as it's out, of course. Oh hold on, we're getting too ahead of ourselves. So that was chapter 197, titled What Only I Can Do. Of course, let me know your thoughts, your predictions down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the Ninja Village art retcon so far. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. And of course, if you want more videos, more reactions, more analysis, more discussions, theory videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, with that little bell too, I know you see that little bell. So go ahead and click that. And as always, I am Amir Punch, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.